the first ever Mountain West tournament title in Air Force history. What does this mean to you? Uh, it's pretty surreal right now. I just congratulations to our guys. I mean, we, we work so hard and what they go through on a daily basis at the academy, a lot of people don't understand and the commitment that they're making to our country is so much bigger than even playing a baseball game and to be able to come out here and represent and play well and to be able to represent our conference and in, in regional is going to be awesome. And I'm just so proud of our guys because once again, it gets back to the, these young men have raised their hand to serve and fight and protect our country. And I want people to understand that, that uh, we have eight graduating seniors, one's going to medical school, and seven are going to go fly jets, protect and serve and fight. So this is so much bigger because uh, unfortunately somewhere along the way it's going to come to an end and the next game that these kids are going to play, it's no longer a baseball game, it's called war. And that's what these kids have signed up to do. And I, I can't be more proud of the fact that they're going to go represent for us. You mentioned the eight seniors. What a week it has been for them. You guys fly in late because of graduation. Your own daughter graduated from the Air Force Academy. Was this just the cherry on top to the week? Yeah, this was the bonus. You know, being able to play baseball after graduation and get these boys out here. Graduation is probably one of the biggest days that these kids are ever going to have, and they couldn't miss that. So to be able to have them come out here, fly out late, and be able to represent once again and play well. Uh, once again, this is just a proving ground for what they're going to do later on in life, and uh, these kids are ready to go fight for us. And uh, a lot of these kids, like I just said, uh, they want to they wanna go put warheads on foreheads and turn people into hair, teeth, and eyeballs for our country. And I want people to understand that piece, that the they're, they're doing some, something that's going to be so much bigger than baseball later on in life, and I can't be more proud of the fact that uh, they're going to wear our nation's uniform. This is the this is Air Force's first region NCAA regional. <laughs> Air Force's first NCAA regional appearance since 1969. To have that ice bath come on you and to be able to say that you're heading to NCAA regionals, how good does that feel? A little cold, but um, <laughs> you know, I'm just I'm excited for them, and that's what it's always about. It's always going to be about our boys, our men, uh, and once again, making sure that they're going to be ready to lead our country, and they're ready. And I think that's uh, you know I'm I'm proud. I'm a proud dad today for all the boys, and uh, can't say enough of um, you know just just a, once again very surreal to be uh, moving on and continue to play baseball in the June. So pretty excited. Paul just named tournament MVP here. You also earned co-Mountain West Pitcher of the Year this year. How do you describe this year as a whole for you? Um, I think throughout the year, uh, we knew we were good. We didn't always play like that. I think we know that, but um, we got hot at the right time. Uh, and I think, you know, me earning these things is, is a reflection of our coaching and um, everything that my teammates have done to support me. How special is this moment to be able to share it with these seniors that just graduated from the Air Force Academy to do this for them? How special is that? Yeah, we. Uh, I, I'm close with a few of them, and they said, or I'm close with all of them, but um, a few of them said, like, if I'm going to miss my graduation party, that we better win some hardware. And um, to come out here and do that, like, that fires me up. And the first ever Mountain West tournament title in program history. How big is that smile on your face right now? It's awesome, man. I don't know. Just nothing nothing like these guys here. Like, I don't know. It comes from the guys that you don't always expect it to. You know, trading to me a ginormous at bat, bases loaded, still a tie game. Um, knocks in all three, clears the bases. Like, that was huge. And that arm is good. Like, he's legit. So, uh, just like that. Dylan Rogers, the freshman, just being ginormous on the mound for us. Like, he's awesome, dude. Like, just, the, just what he just did to be a freshman in this spot. Um, he's gonna be good, man. So he was awesome, and just just love these guys, man. It was it was just fun. It was a good time. You and Trayden both combined for a huge seventh inning to put the Falcons up in this one. What was your mindset when you were stepping up to the plate to be able to come up big for your group in that moment? Honestly, I had I had I didn't feel like I had any pressure on me because Trey had already got the job done. Like he'd already given us a three-run lead, so it made my life a whole a whole lot easier because I didn't really have to I didn't have to try to do too much. Um, you know, he was, it was absolutely outstanding what he did. So hats off to him. I just kind of, I just kind of followed it up, got a little jam shot, but like the only reason I could do that is because of Trey, man.